No, seriously, look at this. Like, for real, who wants that in their bra? <laughs> It's been so long. I'm just refreshing my hair. This is a wash and go that I did about, I did it Friday and today's Monday. So however many days that is. I have the Pattern Beauty Hydrating Mist and then an old, an oldie but a goodie, the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk. I never really use this one to style with, but it's a good way to like just re-moisturize my hair throughout the week. I know this is probably like the most unflattering angle, but yeah, so I just wanted to pop one, show my face, say hey. Um, we have a pretty busy week, but we're gonna take our time, pace ourselves, and let the chips fall where they may. Usually I like to get all my cleaning done on Friday and then like I'll keep our house clean Saturday, Sunday. So on Monday, which is like my self-care day, I don't have to do too much cleaning because who wants to do that on their self-care day? Um, but life be life. And, and this weekend we were getting prepared for like a pretty big change in our schedules. So the house just went to the wayside. Um, and then I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, it's probably 4.30 in the afternoon and I've been asleep all day. Like today that was my self care. Like I really needed, I woke up early um, and Bern and I were working on something pertaining to the change, which I will tell you guys about. I'm gonna ask him first though, cause it really concerns him the most. It's not my business to tell. Um, so I helped him with that. And then I went back to sleep around like 11 and then I got the best the best sleep girl like and I feel like not in this camera but I feel like in real life I still do have like some dark circles and I don't know is it possible to just not have dark circles at all like if you get the best sleep every single night like will you just not have dark circles or are we all destined and doomed to have dark circles I wish I didn't have any at all especially because I barely wear makeup okay so I did a thing is this my first Williams and Sonoma purchase? Can you guys even see? Okay, yeah, you can. Um, let's wait for the sirens. I think this is my first Williams and Sonoma purchase. Hello, adulthood. I really, this is like such, this is how you know you're getting old. I really wanted nice kitchen towels. Like, that's, that's really what it is. So I've always gotten my kitchen towels from TJ Maxx. These are the ones that we have currently. <laughs> I don't even know, I don't remember when I bought these. I mean, I do, it was like three, four years ago. And I feel like I was just like, oh, it was perfect for fall at the time. And I was like, oh, I'll just get more. Like, cause you know, at TJ Maxx, you don't really know what you're ever gonna get. You kind of get what you get and you make the best of it. And so I bought those for fall and then I never bought any other kitchen towels. So I have these kitchen towels, I have, one where it's like a pickle. I'm gonna show y'all, they're like pickles on the thing. Here, this is actually one of my favorites. It reminds me of Pickle Rick, if you guys have ever watched Rick and Morty, so. But yeah, these are our hand towels, y'all. And I was like, okay, this does not fit the vibe. Like, in here, we have, a, we have a theme going. I've never really had like an aesthetic in my home. It's kind of just been like, whatever. Um, so I was like, we gotta, we gotta step it up. Let me show you guys what I got. Cause I wanted to get the right ones. I actually haven't even opened these yet. So I got three different ones and they all have a different purpose. I am very particular, very particular. So the first ones are probably the most exciting ones and they have like a pattern. So I think these might be like, not for show, but they're more so for like the aesthetic of the kitchen, so for show. <laughs> Um, so they have like these tiny little lines and it's like a dark, a tannish gray, grayish, gray and beige. That kind of sounds right. Yeah, it looks like grayish. Um, so it has these like tiny space lines with like a little bit more medium space lines. This is my least favorite of the aesthetic pack. This one is so cute. Oh, it has like 
That is so cute. That's like a gingham pattern. Then you have like the traditional Williams and Sonoma towel that has their logo on it with like, you know, just a clean towel. And then I think I also like this one. Do I like this one? This is like kind of regular, just a nice little, nice to have. And these kind of feel a bit hard. So I didn't realize that they were gonna be hard. That's why they're gonna be aesthetic towels because I don't really wanna wipe my hands on this. But I do like to have towels to like dry your hands off with after you wash your hands. I try to like minimize paper towel consumption as much as possible. So for the hand towels, they're going to be the super absorbent waffle um, kitchen towels. And these are all 30 inches by 20 inches. And this is what the waffle looks like. And I really like this. It's like thick, it's softer on your hands, and yeah, it's absorbent. I got four of those. And then this next one is actually for the dishes. So we basically either we hand wash dishes and put them in the dishwasher to dry, or we like put them on the counter on top of a kitchen towel. So these, ooh, these are soft. I like these. These are the extra large flower sack ones. So these are actually 38 by 32. Yeah, I was right. Look at me. That's how, that's how you know I was researching them. <laughs> I like this. So this, I feel like I would like layer two. This is humongous. Oh my gosh. Well, this is actually way bigger than I was expecting. I don't even think I need to layer two. I probably could just like fold it in half. Holy crap, that's big. Like, I can't even show you how big that is. So imagine this doubled, like, girl, it's huge. These are really for setting dishes on to dry on the counter or like drying dishes. They're supposed to, I don't know if that's what you're supposed to use them for, but it makes the most sense to me to use them for that. Actually, I think flour sack towels are used for like cooking. Like you put them over bread so it can, what's that word when you let it marinate like so it can rise oh they talk about it on the british baking show so much i'm gonna be so mad you have to let it you put it in the drawer prove ha 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 <laughs> you have to let it prove the bread i think you use this for that too um but this one feels really really good it's breathable it's thin i like it so before i can use these i have to wash them and i need to just go ahead and stick them in the washer about drinking water. I don't know what happened. I used to love drinking water and then I stopped. But okay, so it's the next day. Um, I'm feeling kind of tired, but I have a Skims haul for you guys. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, um, I really try my best to control myself with Skims because something I've come to realize is just because you want it doesn't mean you need it, but sometimes you need it. <laughs> I don't think I needed this at all, but I really wanted it. So this is the Fits Everybody Strappy Cami. And I didn't even realize until like I purchased it that it comes with these straps in the back. And I really just wanted something cute to walk around the house in. And I got the matching boy shorts. These are like my favorite, my favorite, one of my favorite panty styles from Skims is the boy shorts. Honestly, it might be like my favorite style especially in the fits everybody material it's just like so soft and uh, so comfortable 
I got these during the last sale. These are some Fits Everybody, oh, they're Fits Everybody biker shorts in the color ultraviolet. By the way, these are in a medium. This is in a small because it was the um, sale. Fits Everybody stretches so much you can order a size down. So this drop they released ultraviolet in like other styles and I got the bandeau bra and I got it in an extra large because the first purchase I ever made from Skims was the bandeau bra in black and a medium and it was so tight I could not even put it on so I was like okay that was like a couple of years ago I was like okay let me like double size up because that was way too small for it to fit in a large I was assuming and girl no this is humongous <laughs> at least on me like it's it's like so big no no so I'm gonna have to return that. I also got the micro thong in that ultraviolet color. So yeah. Now something I did genuinely need is the um, the triangle bra and the fits everybody. I got it in the color sienna in the size large. And the bras I'm a large and the tops I'm a medium. It's kind of weird, but that's how it is. And it fits really, really well. Like if it's tight and good. And um, I can also wear an extra large but it doesn't fit that well <laughs> in the other bras. Then I got these, again, the boy shorts are my favorite. I got the color, what do you call this? Saffron. Okay, y'all, so the free cut lime from Skims, I have been waiting on them to drop something like this, something where it's seamless and like you don't have panty lines. Now I wouldn't wear this because it's boy short, so you're definitely gonna like see all the coverage. But again, this is just like comfortable for around the house. But I did get their thong in the same material. And it's very thin. This is in the color Sienna. This is a medium as well. Um, as well as the saffron boy shorts were. It's very thin. And my Victoria's Secret like seamless thongs are better than this because it's just so thin. Like it's cute because it feels, the thinness is cute because it feels like nothing, but then it's not cute because it's not as smoothing as it could be. And then I also got this bra because I have some really like soft shirts and I wanted something like a seamless bra, bra for underneath it. And the straps on it are really weird. The bra is great. The bra is wonderful, even though your nipples show through. Um, but the straps on the bra are like this micro cording type situation. And it's like so uncomfortable. Not because it digs, although it does dig on some people. But for me, it just constantly like twists and turns around. And it completely defeats the purpose of having a seamless bra. If the straps aren't also seamless. I don't get that. So I love everything. I opened this like a couple days ago. <laughs> But I am going to try on this top for you guys, just so you can see um, that it's not see-through. Like, And I also need to try this bra on with the shirt I was thinking of wearing it with to see if I should return the bra and just completely give up on it because these straps are really weird. Or maybe I won't notice it so much under my shirt. Y'all, look. Can you see? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should move this. Ugh. <laughs> Okay, look at how cute this is. Oh, this is so awkward. How do I do this? Okay, first of all, boom. Nothing is see-through. Second of all, I'm just gonna like get down like this. Boom. Look at that. Look how cute. It actually kind of works with like at leisure too. You could definitely wear like, again, blue just kind of doesn't go with a lot of stuff, I feel like. You have to like dress to the color. Or black with leather pants. Like this could be like a concert outfit. Hmm. Renaissance. The shirt that I want to wear with it. Ugh. Does anybody else have that problem when you put clothes on, your hair gets caught? Oh, I fucking love this shirt. I love this shirt. I love a turtleneck, okay? Or a mock neck. Can you see? Well, first of all, <laughs> the nipples are apparent. You can't even see the strap. Oh, no, no. In real life, I can see it. Yeah, I hate that it doesn't lay flat. Like, that's so weird. Why would you make a bra like that? So this shirt is very soft. This is the soft and seamless line. And I only got the mock neck turtlenecks because... They just seemed like the most complete for an outfit. But um, yeah, the arms, this is a size medium. The arms are beautifully long. The color is gorgeous. It feels 
amazing. Honestly, it's cooling. Like, I feel like I can feel the air through the shirt. I'm going to send back this Sienna bra and get another size in the purple bandeau and um, a pink soft lounge dress drops tomorrow. I've been wanting a pink. I wanted the light pink one, but I can do hot pink. I can do that too. No, seriously, look at this. Like, for real, who wants that in their bra? Okay, so as awkward as this feels to me, I don't know, does it, yeah, it's kind of awkward. This is the only angle that I have right now. And I am about to blow dry my hair. So I don't think I told you guys, but we are going to get, well, I'm <laughs> going to get my hair trimmed. Um, so yeah, we have to get prepared for that. And I will be using my red air. So if you guys haven't seen my how to bounce back from neglecting your hair video, I basically walk you through my blow dryer routine. And I highly recommend checking that video out because it's going to give you like full details on my red air review. Um, but we're really about to put the red air to the test today because I have an appointment at 3.30. It's currently 1.11. Ashe. So that's... <sighs> I want to be out of here by 2.30. I want to give myself some time to get there. Now first I'm going to take my Kenra blow dry spray. Just kidding. No I'm not. See? Doing it all funky because I'm on camera. <laughs> I'm going to take my Curl Origin Hydrating Curl Spray, what little I have left of it, honestly. Do I have another one? Ooh, I don't. Okay. So, just run that through the hair. When I blow dry my hair, I really try to keep the moisture light, but effective. So I use products that I know really agree with my hair. So now I'm going to take this Curl Hydrating Leave-In Conditioner from Curl Origin. This is so weird. I'm literally talking to my reflection. Like, what? And I deep conditioned with the Briogeo. Girl, when will I ever learn how to say this? And I deep conditioned with the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Mask. So I got a little protein treatment in. Yeah, that was actually like a good amount of leave-in. My hair does not like combs, but of course for this, I have to comb it. Typically, I like to brush it. Okay. Okay, it's working. But yeah, girl, my hair does not like a comb. Whoa, look at this. Love. I'm going to now apply my blow dry spray from Kenra. I really love this stuff. It's completely worth the money. And I never buy the full size. I always buy the travel size because I only use it four times a year. So I think I've probably had this one for, I don't know, maybe like a year. I kind of applied a lot. Again, it throws off your routine when you have the camera going. Yeah, this is what my hair prefers. My hair loves a detangling brush. Y'all see that? Combs like snag my hair. And my hair is also basically dry because I didn't re-wet it. In the past, I would re-wet it because I wanted to make it easier to detangle. But uh, this time, girl, we got to get.
247. And I'm on my way out the door. How I'm going to keep my hair straight because it's pretty humid is I'm going to put a little bit of the Pattern Beauty Argan Oil in my hair, like literally one drop. Literally a drop. Let's see. Alright, boom. One drop. And just run that over the ends. kind of help with it reverting back and then I'm going to clip my hair back. Girl, my hair is going to get too long to do this at some point. I don't know what I'm going to do then. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let me go get my scarf. And I'm gonna tie it down because like I said it was raining like torrential downpour actually let me make this scarf bigger I want to cover my ends completely with my scarf and I'll probably take this off like before I go on the salon but just for now it'll make me feel better because it's still oh it didn't even work okay what else I tried to cover the ends but yeah it'll just make me feel better